Hello, my name is Peter and I'm a power seller on eBay and I'm creating a demo video. This is part two of a three-part series for a website that I found on the web recently called auctiontracking.com that is a website designed for eBay sellers to help keep track of your auction sales. And uh, this is the main page to auction tracking and I'll log in right now and show you the main menu. This is the main menu for auction tracking and with, for this demo, I'm going to focus primarily on the report screen and show you the reports that can be generated really simply through the website. When you want to create a, a sales report, all you do is select report type. And you can see there are several to choose from. You have consignment letters, summary, subtotal, reports by category, chronological, reverse chronological, and several income and expense reports. So they've covered pretty much the whole gamut, I have to, I have to tell you. So my personal favorite is detailed reports by category. So I'll select that. And then you just select the time period. So I'll do the last 30 days. And I'll search this, my sold items, items that have sold. And just click on generate report. And now I've got this instant, amazing, detailed sales history of the entire month. And I think that's uh, pretty remarkable. And it's all done by category, and it has all the list dates and the sales dates. It shows all the amounts paid and the customer paid shipping. It shows refunds automatically if they come in. Anytime you issue, issue a refund, a partial refund, a full refund automatically comes into auction tracking. I don't know how they do it, but it comes in. Consignment payments, if you sell anything on consignment. Um, my cost, which is the cost for the items, that what I actually pay, my cost of shipping that I actually pay and tax if any is collected, eBay fees, PayPal fees, and then it shows my profit on the last column. So if I scroll down, I can see my totals instantly. I sold 58 items last month, 3,400 gross, customer paid 546 shipping, the actual cost that I paid was 487, so I made a few dollars on shipping. I issued $25 refunds, I had $51 in payments to consignees, my eBay fees were 327, PayPal fees 127, my profit after expenses was 244, $2,446.99. And all of this information is downloaded to Excel or CSV files, or you can just print them out if you want to keep them on file. And auction tracking retains 18 months worth of history, which is really a very cool feature for me because eBay only, keep, all, eBay only keeps track of three months worth of your sales. So once you get past three months, you're lost. With auction tracking, you've got 18 months worth of sale history. Um, to show you how specific the, these detailed reports get, you can see these are the gross amounts. And when you look at the eBay fees on this coach belt, you'll see 1185. And if you want the real details of this individual sale, all you do on the detailed reports is click on the item description and you get this pop-up window that shows every single fee and credit, profit, whatever you want to call it, every single thing that happens to your item shows up on these pop-up windows. And I can tell right here because there's three item numbers that I had, I actually relisted this item three times and it gives me the individual dates and every single fee. And I can see here I, on, on the 5609, I can see I put it into my store for one month and then did it again on 65 for two months. PayPal fees, cost of shipping, the sales price was $100. It shows me my final value fee for a fixed price item is $9. Then it adds all the information and gives me my profit of $77.09 at the bottom. I'm going to tell you right now based on my experience of using this website, this information right here has been significant for me in two ways. It's changed the way I shop because I, after viewing the entire history of a lot of my items, I realized I really, I, some, of them, some of the items that I was selling, I was losing money. So it's changed the way I shop, number one, which has helped me tremendously. And also, when items don't sell and I have to relist items, Instead of blindly relisting my items, I check the history of the item on auction tracking and it allows me to make an educated decision 
as to whether I should just relist it again, lower the price, or just put it into my eBay store. And that has also saved me a lot of money in fees. And, and this website is the only program that I have seen thus far that tracks the entire history of each and every sale. And that is a very, very significant thing to have. And it's amazing to me. I don't know how they do it, but it's, it's an awesome thing to be able to do. And one other, I'll, I'll, I'll mention briefly that you can, if, if you make a mistake in any of your, when you enter my cost or the cost of shipping, anytime you see an error, all you do is click on it in the detail reports and you can change it right on the reports. So that's another cool feature of auction tracking. And you'll see that anytime you list a, consign, a, a consignment item, you'll always on the left hand side, left hand side of the page, see a blue icon. And this one here says sold for John Doe as an example. And that instantly tells you that this is a consignment item. And that's why you'll find the my cost blackened out because there is no cost. It, it was, it's a consignment item. And then you can just click on here as well. And you'll see all the items that, you, that you've listed for the consignee. And that gives you a nice history of, of what you're doing for that each individual consignee, which is pretty cool. And I'll just quickly click on the uh, description here. And it, and it shows, of course, the consignee, consignment payment and then all the fees associated with it as well. And uh, I don't know, pretty cool stuff. Now I'll give you a, a brief look at some of the other reports you can generate. Uh, we can go to income and expense, expense totals. Once again, just select it. Select the time period. I'll do 30 days again. Generate the report. Here's your totals. Amount paid, all the total of shipping, refund totals, consignment totals, my cost totals, shipping totals, eBay fees, PayPal fees, income and expense, right there for you. And then I'll just show you another report real quick. You can do um, income and expense by day, same thing, 30 days, generate the report. And here it is, 522, 523, 524 day by day, shows all the totals, scroll down to the bottom, same information, all the totals. And these reports, like I said, instantly generated, no effort at all. And um, I don't know, pretty remarkable. So I would recommend to anybody who sells on eBay to give this site a test drive and um, see, if, see if you see what you think because to me it's an amazing site okay hope it works for you guys as well as it's worked for me bye bye